what's up you guys welcome to my youtube if you have not watched any of my videos i am coach summer i am a trauma coach i help people navigate through narcissistic relationships toxic um relationships whether that's your friends family members or any type of childhood trauma help you navigate that um and i also do and i also help with spiritual guidance um if you like tarot readings anything like that then go ahead and go to my facebook page that's where i do all my readings or you could go to loveandvibrationcoaching.com that's where you can find my my website to one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions and also um tarot readings or you could get a coaching session with a tarot reading if you don't like tarot that's okay <laughs> okay and that is just fine but yeah so in this video and i will link it below it's love and vibration coaches.com i will link it below in this video um the website okay um so in this video i wanted to talk about I want to talk about dropping everyone toxic in your life okay because a lot of people say just drop them just drop them and that is extremely hard so what do you actually do especially if it's your parent because I've had I have um, toxic narcissistic parent and you know it's been some bumps in the road and you know, I figured out a way how to not let certain family members or like who to actually drop out and who to actually, who can stay in my life and how to not get affected by their toxicity. Because, you know, everyone, everyone's, all of us cannot because some a lot of us are uh, surrounded by so many toxic people just like me like i have so many toxic family members so many toxic friends so many toxic um and i'm going to talk about the toxic friends so stay what stay tuned for my other videos and um find out what happened with that how i navigate how did i navigate that but um so yeah let's talk about the parents so when i so i have toxic narcissistic parents okay and unfortunately now um my mother is deceased now and you know i could around the time when she passed i did not know how to navigate that you know i still let it i still let her affect me in a billion ways okay even after her passing and um i still have my father i still have my father and we have stopped talking so many times and one of the things that and as I start growing and learning myself and through self-reflection and actually learning how to navigate all these toxic people, I start figuring out exactly who and who can I stay inside of my life. Like I had to figure out who can and who cannot. So as a, as a, in regards to dealing with my, narcissistic father you know let me tell you this it's a difference you know apology without work it means nothing okay if you have somebody in your life who is you know listen my father he was not I had to set so many boundaries with him throughout the years and I actually stopped talking to him like a year or two before like a couple times right and you know uh, even though some even though 
he is toxic right he's still like i want my daughter in my life so that so he has done things to change he has done things well, okay you know narcissists never change but he has done things he has respected my boundaries that is one way that i that is one way that i was like okay this person can stay in my life through a distance okay i already know that i already the, and then the next thing okay the next thing sorry you guys i have so many thoughts so many thoughts the next thing is acceptance acceptance accept that this if you already know this is the type of person who just says they're gonna do something and don't you know stop getting mad that they don't accept that they don't just let them be this person that um let the let them be this person that you say hi to see how they doing blah 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 then get off the phone okay don't expect them to and they say oh yeah we're gonna go to dinner next week oh i'm gonna buy you this buy you that you already know that they're just talking so don't <laughs> just be like oh, okay okay and don't expect anything because i see so many people get caught up like why did you do that how come you did that how come you didn't show up you know you just keep giving it giving this person all your energy like this is how except like this is how they are you know if you but if you have so if you have a toxic parent who's like calling you out your name all this stuff and just doing like crazy stuff to you then of course that is somebody you need to drop but some of these narcissists and toxic people are somebody who's just annoyed the living crap out of you okay and you have to know when to drop them i mean when when to talk to them when you don't sometimes you might see them at a family gathering and be like oh hi and that's it or you know accept that that's who they are you know stop pulling your energy into whatever chaos that they have going on so that is one way that i keep certain people like the ones who are extremely toxic and who are just they're just like they're just eat super evil and bad people you know they they can't be a part of my life but the ones who are just a little delusional benign narcissists or people who are just super toxic then they can't stay and then i mean who are just toxic but they're not actually being detri detrimental to my life you know they're not c coming causing harm you know they're just annoying me then then you know they could then they can stay at a distance but when everyone's like just drop every single person out your life you know that's like almost that's that's like and then you look around you look around and you're like oh my gosh all these people are toxic and you're like okay then i'm not gonna have anyone you know i'm not gonna have anyone and let me tell you something I have very few people in my life and I love it that way. You know, at first I cannot do that, but I have very few people in my life. And you know, the peace is amazing. You know, if my uh, toxic, one of, if my toxic father calls or one of my other family members call that I, I know you delusional, I know you little, uh, you know, you're not, all the way there you toxic you know as soon as they start talking to start talking toxic or bring some drama my way i'll be like okay um i'll talk to you i'll talk to you <laughs> later all right like there's no more conversation you know setting boundaries and pay attention to the people who are toxic because are toxic and 
when you set boundaries, you know, they actually start respecting those boundaries. So yeah, that is how you will not, that's how you navigate who you could put in your life and who you can't. And before, and while this is happening, okay, while this is happening, you have to be working on your healing journey, heal, healing those childhood wounds, heal, um, looking at things from a, learning to look at things from a different perspective. It is like, you know, every, we talk, you know, as coaches and, you know, you see like the therapists and stuff on here talking about that. We, we make it sound so easy. I'm telling you, it is a journey and it is going to be hard. But for those of you who are watching the video who are watching this video and you're like i really need to change i really need to get certain people in my life i don't know where to start and um where to go and how to navigate and you just tired and you just feel that pull to change then you know come talk to me at love and vibration coaching.com okay i could help you out and see where where you are in your journey and who and help you evaluate um help you evaluate the people in, people in your life help you get started on your healing journey and help and help you look at things from a different perspective because i'm telling you it sounds easy but i'm telling you it's it is definitely a journey so yeah let me know how many people you had to kick out your life let me know who let me know the people who you are tolerating and let me know where do you think you are on your healing journey okay all right don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel okay and i'll see you guys next time bye